Hello everybody and welcome to my first video tutorial on how to build a King Cobra. And this is what I have so far, just to show you. It's very um, structurally stable. Um, it's about the same height as, as the Cobra you see right here. But as you can see, I'm trying to, I want to get the proportions to look more realistic. Because snakes aren't that big. Maybe anaconda, but cobras aren't that big. So, this is like the basic armature. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did this. Uh, I might improvise and add a little bit here and there as I go. But I'll get to that in my later videos. I prepared a nice little tutorial for you to show you how I did this right here. Um, believe it or not, this is actually 55 minutes worth of work. And I started it the same, pretty much the same way as I did the um, dragons. So here we go. By scaling this cobra down a little bit, it was incredibly faster. And I hope to be able to get this done a lot quicker than I did my dragon tutorial. Um, like I said, I'm I, doing pretty much the same methods as I did in my dragon tutorial. I got a base and a little round piece of wood and screw it down and I'm using four wires instead of three because they're uh, slightly thinner and of course I screw them down too and for these wires it may look like I'm doing something complicated I'm not I pretty much just bunched them all up and then I start wrapping it with foil. Remember to pre-wrinkle your foil so it bulks out better. For this foil, basically what I'm doing is I'm making a cylinder or a tube and at the top I compress it like a screwdriver, kind of flatten it out and I'm making like strips and putting it on either side. I know you can't see it right there for a moment and once I tape them on I, I uh, wrap that in another piece of foil see now you can see it so I can see what I have and you see you whacking it with the spoon trying to shape it I love this I love to use a tablespoon when it comes to shaping this foil Up at the top it didn't look flared out enough for me so I basically did the same thing which you kind of couldn't see very well before again just put some strips on the sides of foil and then tape them tape them there to where they don't move and then I just you know cover it in tape I cover my sculptures in tape to protect the clay and if I ever want to bail out on something, I can just pull the clay off and not have little pieces of foil stuck in it. Pretty much wrap it all in tape and some last minute little adjustments and stuff. This was pretty pretty quick. Right here I'm actually building out the face because it's easier to do it in little parts than to try to do it all at once. And then once I get it to where I want it, uh, wrap that in tape too and beat the crap out of it with a tablespoon. Uh, and once you compress it and get it reshaped after hitting it with a tablespoon, you might want to put another layer of uh, tape on it. That's what you just seen me do because it takes out all the wrinkles and, and bad imperfections and stuff. And it, it's going to be a more of an even layer of clay once you get it, you'll find it a lot easier when you have a smooth surface. Guys, I really appreciate y'all for watching this and I, I really hope you all enjoy it. I'm going to be doing part two real quick here and it's, I'm really excited about this and I really hope y'all enjoy it. Thanks again.